Hey guys, this is Alejandro here, one of the founders of Customly. I'm sorry I haven't shaved. Um, but in this instance, I wanted to share something pretty cool with you, um, something that we've been discussing uh, for a while, and is how you can uh, control the prompts that your um, shoppers uh, create with uh, OpenAI and DALI 3. So um, as I'm sure you know, sometimes uh, when you have like too much freedom, it's hard to you know find out exactly what you want um, or you spend too much time or maybe sometimes the shoppers need uh, guidance on you know what that prompt um, could look like uh, when you are facing a uh, you know, blank canvas or a blank piece of paper, you know, a little tap on the back, a little like guiding on what on which direction you should uh, move. It's always helpful. Um, and this is why we decided to create this feature. So long story short, um, if I click here on personalize, we'll see how this works. Um, so as you can see here, um, we are going to create a prompt using different dropdowns that are pre-populated. In other words, <clears throat> you as a merchant can decide um, how the prompt will look like and the shopper will um, select the options based on what you previously decided. So here, this is a very simple example, but you can get you know um, as creative as you want. Um, and in this case, I can choose an animal. So I, you know, um, selected two uh, animals for my merchants, uh, for my shopper to choose from. I'll just go ahead and select cat. Um, then I'll select wearing a, and I'll just go ahead and select the knight armor. And I can also select the uh, setting, uh, for example, on a cyberpunk setting. And as you can see, um, you know, customly it's basically creating the prompt based on those selections. So when I click submit prompt, I'll just wait it out. Um, so we can, you know, um, have chat GPT, uh, sorry, uh, DALI 3 generating this um, image and we'll see how it works. Awesome. So I have like my super cool cat. I, I love this one. Um, so yeah, you can, um, as I said before, get super creative with your prompts and then your user will have the possibility to, instead of having to, you know, just come up with a prompt from scratch, uh, based on the options that you provided, generate that prompt. Um, so let's see how this is configured. Um, this is a beta feature. Um, it hasn't, you know, been released as an official feature yet, but I'll just uh, show you a quick hack of you can implement this on your store. So the first thing that you need to do is um, go to your product. And this is uh, the canvas that we're looking at. Okay, here it is. And um, in this case, you'll have to create the option set manually, right? So you'll add all the dropdowns. As you can see here, you'll add all the dropdowns that your users, that your uh, shoppers will be interacting with. Right, in this case, add, I, I added three dropdowns. So you basically create a dropdown um, and you have to be very careful with the title of the dropdown and with the options of the dropdown because that will be generating the prompt, right? Um, so that's why when I click here on dog, it changes to dog um, and the wearing at. So as you can see, the, the first object is something that we omit, right? So um, it starts with dog and not with animal dog. Um, so here, the, the, I would recommend using the top subject in the first uh, dropdown. Um, and then you can basically connect everything together using the title of the dropdown and the options of the dropdown or the values of the dropdown. So um, how it looks there on the option set. So the first one, as I said, um, animal, uh, the first subject will be ignored, but the values are very important. So here, if you want to include uh, another value, for example, a turtle, See turtle. Uh, you can do it like that. Um, and then on the second dropdown is where the label uh, it, it becomes important. That's why uh, in the option label I um, use wearing a. Um, and then we can also you know do the same thing uh, with the values. So you can see uh, here you can you know add as many values as you want. And then the third uh, dropdown it's on a and this is the setting, right? Um, and that's pretty much all. Um, you have to, you know, choose carefully your labels and your values. And on top of that, you have to just like um, copy paste this, my prompt on the dropdowns. So as you can see here on every dropdown that I created, I copy pasted 
my prompt as a class, uh, my prompt, and <clears throat> here my prompt. And that's it. Um, the last step is um, copy pasting a code. Um, so you go to settings, you go to developer settings. Uh, I already have the code created, uh, but you just basically copy paste the code I'll include in the video, and then you can save settings. And that's pretty much how it works. Let me also save my option set so we can see the new uh, turtle option that I added. Great. So let's refresh and see how it looks. I, I always wondered how a turtle would look like wearing an armor. Um, so let me just go ahead and, and do that. Uh, knight armor on, um, uh, I, I love it. Let's go ahead and, and see how that looks. Open AI sometimes takes its time. Oh wow, <laughs> this is this is pretty cool. Um, I love it. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much how you can uh, do it yourselves. Let me know if you have any questions here in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you want to, you know, receive notifications when we release new features uh, or this kind of uh, new things that we're trying. All right. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day. Bye bye.